All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create my biscuits, homemade and also country style sausage gravy. And I'm going to do my basic one. I'm not going to put the peppers and all that extra stuff in, but I will put onions because I can't do it without onions. I need to have those. So what you're going to see is all you're going to need for the biscuits is the heavy whipping cream, self-rising flour. That's all purpose flour. We have some adobo, minced garlic. This is optional, but I love the flavoring of it. So I'm telling you, 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 you should have it. Sage, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is for me to create the actual slurry for the gravy, for the actual biscuits, the sausage gravy. All right, so that is it. Everything else I'm going to voice over and speed through. So that way you can watch this video and it doesn't have to be so long. All right. All right, guys, so the next step is to take two cups of flour and one cup of heavy creamer. It is a two to one ratio. And if you wanted to make half of this, you would do one cup of flour and a half a cup of heavy creamer. I am preheating the oven to 450. Now we're going to knead, 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 basically mix this up really well and then go to the next step. All right, guys, you're going to take this out of the bowl and you're going to just kind of knead it more on the counter in your hands. It's going to be kind of crumbly, but trust me, it is all going to work out. Next step is going to get your dough to be flat and start to roll it out with your rolling pin. You don't want to do too much manipulating. Trust me, they are going to be fine. Now, once you get it nice and flat, about a half an inch, you can start creating your biscuits. And that's what you see me doing here. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to chop up my onion. Now, once you chop your oven up, you're going to get your frying pan and put your heat on medium at like a four. And you are going to put a little bit of olive oil in there because you're going to start sauteing your garlic and your onions because you don't want it to be crunchy inside of your gravy. So we're going to put about a good teaspoon of minced garlic and then we're going to add our onions. Now, once you add your onions, you're just going to let them get a little translucent just a little bit and then add your meat. And I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of everything into the mix. So we're going to put the biscuits in the oven, set the timer for 12 minutes, and then it is time to start the slurry. I'm going to be using a tablespoon and a empty bowl, and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of flour into a bowl. And then I'm going to take the bowl over to the sink and add water. Now, when you do this, you want to add the water slowly to wet the actual flour so that you do not get lumps in the flour. Okay, so I'm making a slurry by adding water and I had to take it off a of hot. We want cold and I'm slowly adding a little bit of water at a time and I'm mixing, mixing, mixing thoroughly so that I can add this to my pot. I was not even freaking recording. Oh my gosh. So what I did was I put a cup of almond milk. That was something I forgot to put on the counter. A cup of almond milk and then I put a quarter cup of heavy creamer. Y'all seen that already. And then I placed um, the slurry that I created with the flour and water in here. That is what's going to thicken up this gravy. So I'm going to just let this cook and let it get thick. And that is going to be how I make my country style gravy. And we're going to see it all together with the biscuits. Alright guys, it's been sitting for about five minutes. And you can see how it's thickening up. Y'all see it? It's turning into a nice thick country style gravy and our biscuits only have five more minutes and then our breakfast for dinner is done this was hubby's request and usually I this is me doing it like a basic way but I usually put um, peppers in it parsley and all that but that's not, it really isn't necessary that's just doing a little extra this right here is the basic gravy you will love it if you love the country style sausage gravy for biscuits you're gonna love this and it actually tastes good on grits as well and see it's just getting thicker and thicker so i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer and when the biscuits are done then i'll stop this and that way you guys can see me plate it for the hubby look at y'all look at it nice and thick All right, guys, so the biscuits are done, and I want you guys to see them. They came out smaller. I made them smaller because I always make them too big, and I want y'all to see the layers in them. And they're just a smaller biscuit. And guess what? 
I'm sorry for not showing y'all, but yeah. These so just FYI, if you're going to do them small like this, make sure you only leave them in for about eight minutes. These got a little bit harder than I wanted them to be, but it's okay. It actually still tastes amazing, it doesn't? Because the gravy kind of softens them up. But I usually do a bigger one like this, and I decided to go smaller thinking that, you know, they would be fine, but it really wasn't enough. So just go with eight or nine minutes. The longer the gravy cooks, the thicker it gets. So don't worry, it shall thicken up and get like this for you as well. Just be patient. All right, we are getting ready to turn this off. Yes, it is done, it is done, it is done. All right, so let me get some of this goodness on these biscuits. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And see me, I will still put some black pepper on my plate. That's just, I love black pepper, I don't know why. And that is my country style gravy and biscuits. Now, if you wanted this to be whiter, you can add more heavy cream um, to it to make it whiter. But yeah, I got a lot of sausage and less gravy. So that's one reason why the sausage I overpowered the color of the gravy. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you try to make this, let me know how it comes out for you. It is the bomb, guys. You're going to love it.